how to make a MailChimp landing page for free. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be telling you how you can make your very own landing page using MailChimp. Now without wasting any more of your time, let's just simply jump into the video. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to MailChimp.com. Now once you're over here on this site, all you have to do is simply sign up. So to sign up, all you have to do is click on the sign up free button at the top right here or click on the get started today button over here. So let's just go ahead and simply click on sign up for free at the top and once we click on it, the web page will look something like this. Now over here, all you have to do is simply enter in your email, your username, your password, and then just simply check this box and then simply click on sign up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And once you've clicked on the sign up button, they will send a confirmation link to your email. So you have to check your email and verify your address. And that way we can proceed with the video. So I'm just going to go ahead and verify my account. So once you've verified your account, the website will look something like this. And you just simply have to go ahead and click on I'm not a robot button and then simply clear the recapture wait for the site to load and there we go so once you've cleared the recapture this is the next step so over here you will have four different options so you have the premium plan you have the standard and you have the essentials now depending upon your need and uh, your requirements you can choose whichever plan you use so the essential plan is just for $9.99 a month and the standard is $14.99 and then the premium is almost $300 per month but with the essentials pack you get 500 contacts with the standard you also get 500 contacts but with the premium one you get 10,000 contacts depending upon your need you can choose whichever pack you want so I'm going to stick with the free one and then just simply click on the next button over here so when we click on next this is the next step so over here all you have to do is set up your account so that means all you have to do is enter in your credentials so such as your first name last name your business name your website URL which is optional and your phone number which is optional as well and after that all you have to do is enter in your address so your street address your city state the zip code and the country and then once you've entered in all the details all you have to do is simply click on continue now once you're done with the address section they will ask you if you already have a list of contacts so then simply click on yes and then select the size of your contacts but if you don't then just simply click on no and continue and click on not sure then they will ask you a question what are you unsure about and then you simply have to answer them with these options so I don't have any contacts now so let's just click on no and continue and then they will ask you do you sell products or services online then you simply have to choose these options right here which means that either you sell a product or services or both or neither so I'm gonna click on both and down below they will ask you how do you currently sell online so I have my own website or e-commerce store or another business whose website or e-commerce store so I'm gonna simply choose this one and click on continue then they're going to tell you that you're almost ready to go and then you have to select the additional emails you want to receive from MailChimp and their companies so you have to choose at least one so I'm just simply going to choose this one and simply click on next give it a few minutes to load up so once you've done with all the informations this is how your website will look like so at front you have a lot of things going on over here so let me just go ahead and go over them briefly so at the top right here they're asking you to connect your accounts and then let's just simply dive in so if you have a Shopify account just simply go ahead and sync that if you have a Magneto, WooCommerce, Square, PrestaShop or BigCommerce just simply go ahead and then just simply sync connect your stores with MailChimp or and then you can just simply go ahead and choose these options but I don't have any of these accounts so I'm just simply going to click on I'll do this later so then they would like to ask you what would you like to create an email website an automation website or a simple website so at the top you will have two options more things to create or I'll do this later you just simply have to choose whichever type of website you want the process of making that website is exactly the same so I'm just simply going to click on I'll do this later and move on with the video and then down below you have add your contacts so if you already have a list of contacts on your phone or on your website depending upon which device you are working on just simply click on import your account and then over here you will have the option of uploading a CSV or a text file or just simply copy paste from a spreadsheet and choose whichever option you want and you will have uploaded your accounts and then down below you will have a launch you will here are a couple of ways to do that over here you can start with a new email or view your campaign 
basically what that means is that once you've done all of this you can just simply launch your website so i'm just going to click on thanks i don't need this anymore and i'm going to show you how you create your own website so once you're done with all the process also over here all you have to do is underneath dashboard you will see this pen button so over here you will see this pen button which is create simply click on it and over here you will have four options in front of you so you will have email you will have customer journeys you will have a landing page or a multi-channel design so choose whichever option you want but since this video is related to landing pages i'm simply going to click on over here and show you how you create a landing page so over here you will have to enter in the landing page name or select an audience so i'm gonna go ahead and name chimp man and begin and then you will have to choose a template or a design so choose whichever template that you think is most suitable for your niche so or whichever template you think is more beautiful and you feel like this is most suitable for your website so choose whichever template you want and down below we have templates and designs so once you've chosen a template we will move on with the design and another thing as you can see over here you will see that these templates are of different categories so we have accept payments category we have promote products lead generations and that's basically yes you have lead generations accept payments and accept products so next all you have to do is choose a template so i'm just simply going to choose this one because it feels like more elegant and more minimalistic so once you've chosen a template just simply wait for it to load up and once it's loaded up as you can see we have a lot of things going on over here so right at the beginning at the right side over here you will see you have all these different options you have blocks so basically this website can be created in block form so we have text we have box text we have dividers we have images we have buttons we have videos we have all these the payments we have social followers we have all these different options that we can choose from and then we have style then on over here we can change the page style we can change the header style the body style the footer the mobile style and all notification bars and mailchimp badges and all these types of things and then over here at the main website as you can see whenever you hover your mouse or cursor over a block or a text or a image a box will be formed and on this box you will have four options you will have the option of moving you will have the option of editing of duplication and delete so let's just click on this logo over here so as you can see we can upload our logo so we can just simply replace it or sync a link to it or alternative so let's just go ahead and replace our logo click on replace and once it's loaded up as you can see we have no files added simply click on upload and then choose an image to your liking and that image will be uploaded and if after that if you want to feel like you want to change the fonts then just simply click on style so after that if you feel like you want to change the fonts of a certain section simply choose that section and over here on the right side we'll see that you have different options so over here you can make the text bold italic underlined or you can connect a link to that text and then whenever someone clicks on that text they will be redirected towards that link that you have synced and then we have styles now over here you can change the size of the text you can change the color you can align the text you can change the alignment of the text and then down below you can change the height of the text and then you have fonts the main thing that we wanted to change so you can choose all these different fonts you have a lot of different options over here so let me just go ahead and choose dancing scripts and then increase the size and that is basically it as you can see that is how i change the tag of this website and then down below you can even upload different images so click on this image and click on edit now over here as you can see this is the image that is placed and over here this is column one this is column two the process is exactly the same as i showed you how you can change the logo simply click on replace and upload your own image or choose an image that is already provided by them if not then you can choose your own logo now what if you wanted to change the background color simply hover your mouse at the background where nothing is added and down below you will see three options you will have color you will have image you will have remove so simply click on color and down below you can change the color of your website let's just make it a little bit yellow and that is it as you can see we've changed the background color you can even add images in the background simply click on image and over here you will have products you will have giphys you will have instagram you will have logos so if you click on giphy you can upload a gif so choose a gif let's just choose this gif over here and then click on insert and wait for it to load up and as you can see the image has been loaded up and this is how it will look like 
so now you get the basics of it and down below if you want you can change the socials as well the process of changing anything is exactly the same so that is how you create a landing page with mailchimp and that is it for this video guys if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notification guys and if you have any other questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i will make sure to get back to you as soon as possible and having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care goodbye